To make this arrow two sides, double sided, we're going to fold our paper over and I'm going to grab my stick to make sure that my arrow is a good enough size for the stick and I'm going to draw the tip of the arrow. Next step will be to cut out your arrow and we are going to glue that onto the end of the stick. I decided to do this arrow project in honor of the Quanta Parker Trail. It is a trail marking places on the northern Panhandle and the Texas Plains that have a connection to the famous Comanche chief Quanta Parker or other Plains Indians. And these arrows are sticking out of the ground made out of metal created by artist Charles Smith. He created these arrows out of metal. And there's a website, quantaparkertrail.com, that tells you with a map all the different places that you can go see these monumental size arrows sticking out of the ground in honor of the Comanches and the last Comanche chief, Quanta Parker. Once you are done with the arrow, we are gonna draw the feathers for the other side. I'm leaving my paper folded in half so that when I draw it and cut it out, I will actually have two feathers. There are so many different types of birds in the world, so if your feather does not look the same as mine, that is okay, because in nature there are thousands of different types of feathers and the way that they blow in the wind or move are all unique. cut around your feathers and cut them out and you should have two that you'll glue on to the end of the stick. Quanta Parker was the last Comanche chief living in northern Texas and Oklahoma. He was a warrior before transitioning to learning how to live life on the reservation when Texas started to become more and more settled. Native Americans or American Indians were sent to live on the reservations. This is where Quanta Parker became a businessman. He was taking care of his tribe and his community and also got into politics and became friends with President Theodore Roosevelt. He elevated the status of Native Americans and helped him and others to learn how to be independent and take care of their tribe. Now, if you wanted to hang up your arrow on the wall, you can get a piece of yarn or string long enough to tie on both sides. I hope you had fun making an arrow with me today and learning more about Native American heritage and Comanche Chief Quanta Parker.